Amelia is tiny and all these things are really high. I'm six foot three and I could reach them. And she was like, what am I gonna do? And so, Wow. Wow. Wrong house. <laughs> Just kidding. You work for me. You're here for a reason. Shut the gate. Thank you so much. Welcome to my townhouse. Finally finished. Come on. All right. Welcome. Uh, where do we start? Where do we start? Uh, there are six floors. We should start here. Ah, uh, all right. So, fly. That's that's fine. No, wait. Get out of my fucking house, fly. I'm just gonna call someone to take care of that fly real quick. Welcome to the living room. Uh, I'll kind of walk you through the work that we did, but we got renovated this uh, and it took us three years. One year of design, planning, bidding, permitting. We're in a landmark district in Brooklyn. So we had to go through landmarks. It was such a process. And then two years to do the total renovation. We did it through COVID and we just finished, just furnished and just moved in. One of my favorite parts though, in this whole house, like is this parlor floor, because the floor is just, it's so big. It's one huge floor that is just entertaining, dining, kitchen. The only thing in here that's still from the original house are these initial moldings that frame these massive doorways. Uh, you got 12 foot ceilings, which I made sure we kept and we redid everything. We ripped this house down to the studs, opened up the floors, opened up the ceilings, opened up the walls. And then this mantle took forever to get here. It is so big. When Amelia stands next to it, like it's like the mantle is the same size as her. But it's like a really pretty thing. And this, this mirror is like 600 pounds. I have no idea how it's hanging there. The speakers, all these speakers throughout the entire house and the ceilings, all the sound bar speakers under all the TVs were done by Leon speakers. They crushed it, so thank you, Leon. Um, and all the interior design was done by Ash, New York City. Uh, Andrew Bowen and, and Leah, they crushed it too. This is our bar area. This is exactly the way it was. We moved in, everyone gave us gifts, and I just put them there. And that's also for Puma and Adrian. This is our dining room. We kept the dining room nice and open. Initially, there was a whole structural wall. This brick wall that's right here used to come out this way. None of this stuff was here. This wasn't here. This whole structural wall that held up the house because most townhouses in New York City are 20 feet wide, in which case you have nice load-bearing walls on all four sides. When you get wider and wider and wider, things start to buckle inside. And so this is 27 feet wide. And so you had to have you know, you had to have a load bearing wall down the middle of the house basically, but I wanted to remove that. I didn't know when we bought, but it was a process to remove all this brick and remove all these walls so that we could open up this whole space and get this big wide open kitchen with these huge windows and 12 foot ceilings meant that we had to install 26 steel beams. Actually, Adrian came and filmed that almost two years ago now, which is pretty crazy. We also had to cut open the hole and run everything up to do the elevator because we have a private elevator that runs up the house and the elevator is right here. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, you use cheers with your cup. Cheers. We did a lot of the sinks out of stone. So if you look, yep, like we, this is all wallpaper, um, same high ceilings. And then we carved this out of stone. We use Brizzo for all of our fixtures because they do super cool, super unique uh, kitchen and bath fixtures, which are pretty. I was incredibly, it's my house. I was so involved in the design process. For a long time, this island actually was curved. It like was a big oval and curved on the inside and we couldn't find a single person to do it for a normal cost. It was a total pain. Um, and so we ended up just doing it really chunky and blocky. So this is like solid, 
six inches of stone and it's all vein matched. There's a big difference in this world, okay? You're gonna learn this. The difference between book matched, which is like taking a book and opening it this way where both sides are identical like a butterfly and vein matched, which if you look, all the veins connect even down underneath and roll throughout. And then if you look over here, all the veins connect all the way down the waterfall. This is what this is called, a waterfall. So it's all from one huge slab in one quarry. So really important. And then the kitchen, um, we designed basically off of Pinterest. Um, and then there's lots of little kitchen details, like this is our pantry. Everything is super labeled. Pasta, spaghetti, orzo, hilo, taiki. I live with Greeks. There's Greeks, they're not here right now, they're in Greece. Canned foods, pantry, snacks, stuff like that. Everything's very organized. So this fridge, all you, you push it and it opens up. And then you grab it and it opens up nicely. So just so you know, I don't eat any of my meals in the house. I get my food prepped for me the night before and it's delivered to me first thing in the morning. So I don't ever have to think about food. So I don't ever eat anything. I don't even know, I don't even know what's in here. And because the whole family's in Greece, no one's ever really in here. So wait, ready? Open, thank you so much. And this is what I have in my freezer. I just moved in. Plus, I work all the time and I don't really eat here. I don't even know what I would put in here. We did our Gaganau suite of appliances. So we've got the oven, the microwave, and then this is a warming drawer. So like when, when I do eat here and I come home late, they'll be able to cook dinner, put it in here, and it just stays warm the whole time. And then we can just turn that off. Uh, a couple other things in the kitchen. I know we're spending a lot of time in the kitchen, but this kitchen's sick, so we should spend time. Amelia's tiny and all these things are really high. I'm six foot three and I can reach them. And she was like, what am I gonna do? And so we have a drawer that comes out underneath that blends in. That's got this gold ladder that Amelia can use to get out. And so she can reach all these upper cabinets. And then you don't want the ladder anymore. Bye bye ladder. And then if you follow me, uh, we've got dishwasher number one. Dishwasher number two, so you can always have a load going. And then this is trash. And then this is recycling. Um, garbage disposal, all this stuff. This is cool. Because you can just sort of... How long should we do this for? Yeah, okay, great. Um, and actually, no, we kept those moldings. And then the only other thing we kept from the house when we bought it, other than the exterior walls and all that, was this stove. This is a Lacanche stove. They're very hard to get. They're incredibly expensive and they're a total pain in the ass. But we got like the head of Lacanche to come out and fix it, get it all set up, make it perfect. Um, and I've never ever used it. So it's nice. Pot filler so you don't have to take your pots everywhere. And then we cladded our hood for exhaust in stone that matches the island. So it's nuts. Um, all right, so there's six floors. You've only seen one of them. Let's head upstairs. So on the second floor is our primary suite. Oh, these are all child gates, by the way. We had them custom made by these Amish guys in Ohio. Um, so they match the banisters. Cause I don't really like to look at those plastic ones and like fucking make it awesome, you know? That's actually one of my favorite pieces of art, that yellow Porsche that's sinking. No one ever sees it cause it's right off that elevator landing, but come this way, <clears throat> entrance to the primary suite. So this is our bedroom. It's important if you're ever doing a townhouse to make sure that your bedroom's on the second floor because you're the one who built it and paid for it and why would you ever wanna walk up all the stairs? So this is nice, it's right here. Huge bed, we cuddle with Xena in here. Frame TV on the wall, the house has eight TVs. I went from having like one TV to eight TVs, went from having my own bedroom. This house is 8,000 square feet, has eight bedrooms and eight bathrooms over six floors. 
In the Soho penthouse, if you don't remember, it was really just like the bed and closets. And so we wanted a room that was extra large where we could have a lot of other stuff. So like a little bar area, a little makeup station, a credenza, and we didn't have a TV in our last apartment. I've never had TVs in my bedroom, um, but now that we have the baby, it's nice to have the TV and it's cool. It's been a lot of fun, but this keeps going. So come on. So then this is our gallery for art. This whole wall is closets, but it's like shoes and linen stuff and bags. And if you remember seeing our video, I think it was the billion dollar brokers closet tour. And a lot of you saw that one. Here's the update. So I designed the second floor with Amelia and our architect uh, around this closet. The initial layout of this floor had, uh, the bedroom was all the way up against this wall. There was like a little sitting area over here or an office over there. And then these like little closets and I said, no, 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 no. I want one of the biggest closets in New York City. This is 260 square feet. It is 26 feet long by 10 feet wide. California did all of our closets throughout the entire house. They totally crushed it and they were a huge part of this entire process. From here, that way is Amelia. From here, this way is me. I got all my ties, boom. And they're all organized by color. So that goes from like green to blue to black. This is pink, red, the grays, the purples, kind of browns and yellows. All the suits are also organized by color and by design for ease of picking out in the mornings. Um, I've worn a couple of these, so they're in dry cleaning now, but this is tuxedo jackets, black nights and evening wear. And then these are all drawers. Everything's again, organized by color. This is like my workout area. And then we've got bags, luggage, all that below, and then extra storage above, kind of all our hats. I mean, everything. Um, these are more of like the fun suits. And then these are my regular people clothes that I don't wear that often. Sneakers are downstairs. I mean, I have some shoes. I don't wear a whole lot of shoes, dude. I wear suits, I go to work all day long. I'm not like a sneaker head. I have some shoes here, um, but I don't really wear any of them. Like there's just some other work shoes, some of the Yeezys, stuff like that, some sandals. Oh, I gotta pack these. I'm going pretty soon. Uh, and then let's go see our bathroom, which I'm super proud of. It was a lot of work to design it and to build it the way we wanted it. So let's go. So this bathroom is the same size as our kitchen. It spans from one end of the house to the other and is right above the kitchen. We've got the floating Victoria and Albert tub. This piece of art was actually in our Soho penthouse above our bed. And we've got this massive double wide shower with four rain shower heads. And we wanted light. We wanted a lot of light into our bathroom because it's nice. And we've got power shades from Lutron so we can put the shears down for privacy, but we've got such amazing tree coverage here. This is a townhouse that actually has light and views. And our views here on the low floors are beautiful trees. So I'm like in a forest all day long. I love this checkered pattern uh, that's on the floor. That's really kind of cool. Yeah, the warm, there's radiant heat flooring. Double vanity, this is like beautiful woodwork, millwork around, again, the Brizzo fixtures, gorgeous stone. And then little things too, like this is all one piece of wood for all the cabinetry down here. You can see all the kind of the tree lines all match all the way through. We have a toilet and then we're going upstairs, let's go. All right, next floor is kids floor. I have one kid, but you never know. Uh, we have another living room up here. The house in total has one, two, three, four living rooms. So you saw the first one, the formal living room. This is the second one. This is like the playful living room. So again, beautiful mantle. We've got two full bathrooms up here, um, all totally different styles. I think they're super cool if you want to look at them. Like you wouldn't, you don't understand like what it takes to create these bathrooms, but we did these reveals. So we picked kind of these really specific um, uh, floor tiles, kind of fixtures. We had the Cape Cod subway tiles, extra long with white grout, match the white grout to the floor. And then if you come in, I don't know if you can see, but in the showers for the guest floor showers. So for the top two floors and the showers, we did these marble panels 
And so you've got kind of the rain showers above, fixtures, and then these are cool because it just says like temperature, volume, I don't know. I just, I spent a lot of time in apartments and houses. I see a lot of bathroom fixtures. Uh, these are sick. This floor also has our first outdoor space. So we can go outside. This is a nice terrace. We haven't done a whole lot with it just yet. Um, like I said, we just sort of moved in. But it's cool as you look up, kind of had to redo all the windows and the frames. And you start to see that we start to clear all the buildings to the left and right of us. And then we've got our big roof on top. I think we might do like a nice table set up up here. Um, it's a good area like for babies, for kids, so they can come out and they play. And then, this actually used to be a 30 foot atrium. So this was a whole cutout and this went all the way down to the second floor, which is a little creepy and scary. Like in the middle of the house, you have this huge hole. So we closed it on this level and then kept all this and then redid the skylight. You know, in my dream as we have older kids, like this is where they'll go and they'll, you know, be together um, and then I'll be downstairs and they should know not to bother me. This is Zena's big girl room. Uh, she doesn't use this yet, but like it's just me and Amelia and a tiny baby. And so this is where eventually she'll move into. Um, so it's all set up for her. She likes to play in here and totally destroy it. Um, but we do a little bit of a pink theme. Hold on, don't show this, but like, come on. This is like the crash room. So one day this will be somebody's, but this is kind of like the little guest room, day bed. We did a striped ceiling pattern, kept the moldings nice and white, gave it sort of like a sailor theme a little bit. And again, the trees everywhere. We're surrounded by trees. And when I think Adrian, I think, get on a boat and go far away. Oh no? No? All right. We've only done three floors out of six. So I don't know how long this vlog and property tour is gone yet, but we have a half of the house plus all the outdoor space to go. So we're probably like, I don't know, as you factor in your, your viewing watch here, this is probably a good time because we're like 40% through to like, subscribe, hit the button please. You know you love to. Send this to anybody that you want to invade my privacy with. So come on, top floor. So top floor is guest floor. So up here we have our fourth living room, two guest bedrooms, two guest bathrooms. Um, this is also kind of like a sitting room. Bum, 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 bum. So this is just sort of like a cool chill room. Oh, it's like my thinking chair over there. There's a record player, which we've never used. Another TV, pretty sure it works. Super comfortable couch. But like when we have guests and they just wanna, you know, hang out a little bit, they can hang out in here, get work done. It's a nice thing. And we went for a really dark vibe in here. It's just like a moody room. It's probably one of my favorite rooms just because it's got such defined character to it. Uh, it's really, it's really cool. And obviously it's a smart house, intense, intense security system, plus surround sound, everything throughout, Lutron Nest, all the, all the bells and all the whistles, but everything actually makes sense. I sell a lot of houses with a lot of stuff in them that make no sense and people spend all this money on them. So stupid. Uh, and again, elevator comes up here. Bum, bum, bum. When we first moved in not too long ago, our bathroom wasn't totally done yet. So this was our bathroom and I got to really love it. And then um, you just see like the detail here. Like uh, just like the little kind of, kind of edging on the handles and hardware is just really pretty, which is cool. These guest rooms have two themes. One, this is like the Zen calm theme. Sit here, you've got your window seats looking out over Brooklyn, read a book, write a book, you know? And this one is like dark and stormy. So if I ever have friends or guests come here, I don't really have any friends or guests, um, I'm gonna know a lot about them because I'll know, you know where they decide to stay. Because if they pick this one, I'll be like, ah, oh, that says a lot about your personality. Or if they pick the Zen one, I'm like, oh, you'd be nice to have a tea with, you know? These rooms are cool. It's a desk. Come up here, read a book, you know, do your thing. All right, last but not least, we got the roof. Actually, let's do the roof last. 
Roof is pretty awesome, but we've got two more floors that are downstairs. So let's go back downstairs and then let's do like some sick drone stuff. That sounds cool. Okay, come on. Now we're on the garden floor. So this is kind of the floor we actually end up using the most because this is, has the entrance out onto the street, the lower entrance. It's got the mud room and everything. Yaya's bedroom suite is up here. So we have our eighth and final bedroom that's right there. Another powder room, it's really cool. This is our kitchenette. We did it with this really cool stone and kind of blue cabinetry and it's where all my workout stuff is. Every morning I wake up at 4 a.m. I come down here and I spend half an hour like sitting here answering emails drinking a pre-workout drink, and then I either work out downstairs in the gym that I'll show you, or go to another gym. This is my favorite couch. I've always wanted a restoration hardware cloud couch. It is so comfortable. It feels like you're in a cloud and you just, like, I try to watch movies and things here, but by the time I actually get to this couch, I knock out so fast um, uh, because it's so comfortable. Big TV, everything, and then this is my home office. Again, we're kind of like unpacking stuff just a little bit, but um, I'm gonna have this set up so it's a more kind of, I'm gonna have this set up so it's a little bit of a better home office, but this is my, my desk and it's all there. So this way it's not like in a room off to the side. It's just kind of like a cool spot where, uh, you know, I can do zooms and get work done uh, and I can also see what's going on. And then we go to the backyard. And now we're in our backyard which is a huge part of having a townhouse. And we completely redid this, re-leveled it, dug it out, uh, put down all new blue stone pavers. Um, none of the furniture is here yet. Uh, the, only thing, the only thing we've set up so far is the landscaping and the irrigation, which they just, there's bugs, uh, which they just set up. Um, so we've got these two maples here, which are really pretty, square stone gardens. Uh, got a couple olive trees and then these are gonna grow nice and big so we have total privacy. And then this is the back of the house. So there's a big outdoor kitchen there that just isn't done yet. That should be done in the next week or so. The stone just showed up and so the landscaping team is setting that all up. But you have access to the outdoor space from there. We still have to put in some new outdoor lights and stuff. But this whole panel wall used to be gray. Let me tell you, doing kind of that, that crazy paint, the outdoor paint, to match it all black and to do black grout was such a process. But you can see the width of the house. Like, this is one house, that's two houses. Now let's go see my gym. So this we totally set up because I wanted my own gym in my own house. And so the same uh, lime wash that we did to the brick upstairs, so we didn't have this like bright popping red or pink brick, we did down here. And this millwork here, which took forever, it was super expensive, craziness, uh, covers the cement bench. So the house is, the foundation is set up uh, with the underpinning so that you have this cement bench that goes all the way around. And so, and we kept all these arches, like these arches were original, we had to repair them and Hydra was nice enough. I don't understand. Like, who messes with this? This is supposed to go right there. It's great. Uh, the Peloton here, this is Peloton number two, so I can do the boot camp, so I can, you know, move them around. I got weights, and I worked out here a couple times. And then we had to find somebody who can make custom size mirrors that fit perfectly that were kind of cut and arched that way. Um, come down here, we got towels. And then last but not least is the roof. And this is the roof. We completely rebuilt the whole roof deck up here. There wasn't one at all, actually. So that was a whole nother thing. We had to 
put up all the steel, it was crazy. And now we've got this amazing sunset out over Quay Tower, which is a tower that we're selling in Brooklyn Heights. You've got Lower Manhattan, that's Brooklyn Point that we're selling. I can see all of my projects from here. 550 Vanderbilt, where we started. It's an amazing place to come and get sun. And we're the biggest house in Brooklyn. So we've got these amazing, amazing, amazing clear views. And that's it. That's my house. That's the house tour. Now get out of here. <laughs>